I'm Nikki, I'm the CEO at the International Bomber Command Centre here in Lincoln. I'm here today to tell you a, a short piece about Akin Shenbanjo, who was a Nigerian who uh, wanted to enlist after the Battle of Britain, wrote to the War Office and was told that, that we weren't currently recruiting from Nigeria and if he wanted to join he'd have to come to the UK. So that's what he did. He gave up his right. He came from a princely family, gave up his right as the oldest son to return, came to the UK and joined up as Bomber Command. After training where he qualified not only as a wireless operator, but also as a navigator, um, he was posted to 76 Squadron. And whilst at Upper Hayford, while they were crewing up, he was approached by his pilot, uh, Jimmy Watt, who said to him, are you really trained in all of those aspects? And Akin is reported to have said, I've done so much training, I could win this war on my own. So obviously that shows the kind of sense of humour that he had. He was very popular with his crew. So they served in Halifaxes with uh, 76 Squadron. They were very close crew. They stayed together the whole time and completed over 50 operations, which was really unusual. He served with distinction and in 1944, he was awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross. Uh, for his activity. They, after that, named his aircraft Achtung, the Black Prince, which means warning the Black Prince. Sadly, we weren't able to interview him, but we interviewed his son, Neville. The stories and all the photos really brought to life uh, his experience. So post-war, he was made uh, uh, into a flying officer and he continued to serve with the RAF until 1954. That included service in places like Palestine and Egypt. That he also included some time where he spent being the personal driver to King George VI. So what an amazing story. The stories like Atkins are really, really important because actually it's little known that uh, people from Ceylon, from India, from Africa, from the Caribbean, all served and supported Bomber Command. They were part of the 62 nations that were involved in defeating the Nazi regime. And so telling their stories really gives a view of the diversity of Bomber Command.